Greetings, traveler from afar. It was I who tasked Auroron with leaving the traces to lead you here, and I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you, in person. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. Yet, there's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash, and that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natlan, even all of Tavat, will pay for her mistakes. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along, the details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you? Yes, a way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natlan will be lost to the abyss. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. I knew you'd be clever enough to see. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. 